spitting over there. In a black car. He said she was made in a black car. If I get enough phlegm in my mouth now, I'll go over there and I'll spit it. I said, no, you fucking won't. I said, that's fucking damn right. You, you heard him say it? I heard him yeah. say it. Hey, I tell you what, I said, I'm doing it, I said, I'm doing it. There's a lot of bad people. Because I shouted to him and I said, you know what? I said, you're fucking But I tell you what, I'm impressed with you, right? And I'll tell you about it. I've got an Asian grandson. And my daughter was with an Asian lad and she was with him a few years. They split up because he was accused ages ago. Oh, God. Oh, who? The the Havana? What's your grandson? No, I'm not going to give you any names. No, 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 no. 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 Well, do you know, because because you know what'll happen here? Oh, no, I'll get nicked, yeah, but I'm going to... Oh, you're going to get nicked for I witnessed it. I That's all I want. Yeah, I thank you. Do it. Send up my house, I'll give you my address. Can I have your name? Yeah. Cheers. I'm just going to tell the police there. Uh, hello? Oh, fuck, I'm getting nicked. Oh. Okay, yeah, I can see it, but they're asking for me. <sighs> yeah, someone's reported me. Liam's name. <sighs> Don't tell them I'm in here, yeah? Video, the police call. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, cheers, just tell him, just tell him what we do, done. Oh, I'm getting it. It's never a fucking duck. <laughs> do you like it? Do you like it? Welcome to Barrow. No, bruv, the geezer spat in my face. I did want to punch you out. Punch you out, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a reaction. Yeah, it's self-defence. Yeah, it is self-defence. Yeah. 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 Self-defence. Yeah.
is a liar. Of course, leftists jumped on this opportunity to claim that I was a snake and just doing this for money, whereas in reality, I was there to report the truth to all of you. Stephen Lennon, a.k.a. Tommy Robinson, ran with Ellie Williams' grooming claims and in the process vilified the Muslim community in Barrow. Realising she lied, Lennon has tried to tow back, pretending he never believed her. But he can't undo what he did. I've never heard such rubbish in my life. You weren't saying this when you were barking your racist nonsense through a megaphone and demanding I explain myself. Were you, Tommy Robinson? What a load of nonsense this is. And I do have the evidence of what you said and did at the time. I never had a megaphone i never done any of this. When asked to produce the evidence, guess what? Well, I'm not going to produce it. I'm not. <laughs> it's, it's like everything. Accusations after accusations. I've asked this local journalist to produce it. But of course, she can't. That's if she's not too busy being a coked up smear merchant. A high-profile Cumbrian journalist has been charged by police with possession of Class A drugs and driving while under the influence of drugs. Amy Fenton, the chief reporter at the Mail in Barrow, is due before magistrates next month. Neil Smith has more. Amy Fenton was arrested on the evening of the 6th of March, having been stopped by the police on the M6 northbound near Junction 36. The 35-year-old from Dalton in Furness has now been charged by Cumbria police of being in possession of cocaine, a Class A drug, and with driving a motor vehicle whilst unfit through drugs. Worst of all is this government politician. Soon the vultures who make their money and reputations out of others' misery appeared. The far right were the most obvious, with Tommy Robinson whipping up tension still further in pursuit of justice being the icing on the cake. Soon my surgeries were peppered with families who had been torn apart by the allegations made against them and local people who feared for their and their children's safety due to the colour of their skin. This was unbearable. This is pure libel. Amazingly, all the libel is against me. Someone who actually went there to truthfully investigate and find out what had gone on. Not against Maggie Oliver, who was aware that it was a false claim but still continued to pump this story. With Ellie now convicted and each of the men's names cleared, we sat down again with Mo Rami, the alleged leader of the grooming gang, to see how life for his family has changed. Mo, it's good to see you. Nice to see you again, Tommy. Looking at your t-shirt. Let's, let's, you've, you've gone. I was the leader of an international sexual auction grooming gang, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Justice for Barrel <laughs> Boys. <laughs> it, all right. you, you've been cleared. Indeed I have. Have you, do you feel your ta name's totally been cleared? No. No? No. Do you feel, is there still a, rumour mill around the town that this is still a cover-up. Yes. Yeah, I think what, there's a lot more this, justice needed. This, this, this is what this lady's done. Yeah. This is what this lady's done. She's you know you're wearing this. Is this your way? Because because I, when I met you at your house, yeah. when I heard what, how you've behaved in response to these accusations, it's sort of like, it's me. It, it reminded me of myself. It's what I'd do. I'd think, no, fuck you. Like, fuck you. Like, so, and, and you're wearing this. You're smiling. You're laughing, yeah? Yeah. Let's get, a, a, I want to get behind, away a, behind that. Because it is that a front that you put on? That's the that issue. Because in reality, what has happened to your family? It, yeah, we it, can, you're sitting there laughing, smiling now. You're probably feeling happy, but I've, I've met your family. Yes. I, met you, I looked at your sons. Yes. Then what's it been like for them? It's been hell. Yeah. How, been old hell. You, how old are your boys? My, my boy now, at the time, eldest was 18. Yeah. That self-harmed and went to, do, uh, went to put him into an asylum to get him help. Yeah. They were the time he got arrested and done for drink dri uh, driving. I phoned the police on him, and you know what the police did instead? Yeah. The eight of them turned up to my house instead of going and get my son. When you ran him? Uh, when I ran them, they turned out to go and get me instead. Fifteen miles, twenty miles down the road, when I told him where direction they're taking, where he is, Newby Bridge. That's where the fucking police went and got him. Instead, they sent eight coppers to my house and I committed suicide. That day, in front of my children, I smashed a bo uh, bottle on my head. I've got the scars there. there. I'll shave my head. I'll show you, bro. I've got the scars. I was going to slice my neck. All that kitchen you've seen, I'm Nicola, my mate Jonathan, he was there. If he didn't grab my hand that day, I would have gone there. I would, I would have gone right in front of my children and my wife, man. That's the fact of it. That's, so that's, head, that's your, what it's fucking done. Your head was gone. Yeah. It went pop. Yeah, so that was one part time it went gone. pop. Yeah. And that was in 2019. Can you just read that out? Can you read that out loud? Stephen Lennon, a.k.a. Tommy Robinson, ran with Ellie Williams, grooming claims, and in the process vilified the Muslim community in Barrow. Re releasing, uh, releasing, she lied. Lennon has tried to talk back, pretending he never believed her, but he can't undo what he did from Nick Lowell's. 
Then it rolls. Right. What do you make of that? I think that's bullshit. So to be honest with you, I've had my opinion about you, Tommy. I've said that many times before to you. Yeah, As you would, I've talked a lot no, about your, your religion. Yeah, you know, that's fair enough. But you, as a man, I've said it behind your back and I'll say it in front of your face. And I'll say, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got ridiculed from my own Muslim community the further the field that I let you in my house. Okay. Right? I've had shit for that yeah, yeah. from my own. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I still put that aside. I've had it from your family. You know? <laughs> from your wife's family. Your wife's family. Why? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the white family give it worse than the Muslim the family. family. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and then. Uh, and then. Yeah. I took, you know what? Before you come in, I'm going to give you just two minutes in this. Yeah, yeah. Before you come in, my children asked me, Dad, how do we treat him? I said to him, like any guest that would walk into our house, what if they're your enemy, when they come to your door, this is our teachings, this is my, my father raised me. When they come to your door, somebody comes to your door, you treat them as a guest. Yeah. You come in, and you know what I will say, that whether people say you're a journalist, you're not a journalist, you did it professionally. You did what you said to stand power to do, you did it right. I ain't blowing smoke up your ass. No, no, no. I'm being straight with you, man to man. Yeah. Right. And I was at the darkest point of my life, mate. I was at the bottom, bottom of the place as you can be. It's the worst thing any man can actually oh, burden. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine. That. You know what I mean? It's, it's right. and then the way it got plastered all over the internet, all over the social media. Everywhere you walked. Everywhere right? I walked, man. I knew I can put eyes on back of me in the head. Mm. You know what I mean? And it wasn't nice. It isn't nice, and especially when you get children and your businesses. And then I have to, sh we have to hide things. But coming back to that, it's no. I think I've got respect for you, mate, in the level that you dealt with me, yep. right? And you were, you, d you did what you said to do. And you were an honest man. And I think I would, you know, I'd invite you to mind any day. My job was just to find the truth. Truth, do you know what I mean? So I was just doing my job. And I think you, and you, and you were the first one that actually did it. Yeah. And you would have been the first one if it was actually true to bring me down as well. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. Yeah. Like, the way you did it, you were doing thorough. You, yeah. And you, you do do thorough. Now, and they were letting me, and, and they, the fact that they didn't let me put anything out, uh, I mean, it carried on for so long. So long. And you could have, you. you know what? I could have ended it. You could have ended it. I know. You could have ended it. And I was You know what? I, I said to my missing kids, you know what? I look at you sometimes and yeah. think, you're the Malcolm X of the white people of England. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you know what I mean? You, you, you There's a lot of people going to be upset with hearing that. You don't know that. Yeah. There's a lot of people going to be pissed off with hearing that. <laughs> no, but you know what you say? No, in the sense of having the following. He said it. No, 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 but I'm just glad I can sit and laugh now because I've cried yeah. for so long. And I put that big exterior on. I put a big face It's an exterior. On. I, it I, I exterior. knew that when I walk out of your house. You, you know, I you, said, you can, act as, you can act as brave. You can be as funny and laugh. But I know what's going on. Got it on behind behind you did. And, but I have to do that to protect my family, bro. Of and protect my name, protect my heritage, protect me. Mm -hmm. right? and, I, and I did. And there's, there's nothing. I, like, come on. I'm, like I said, I'm no angel. Who is? You know what I mean? Never mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? say, keep reminding me. <laughs> Have you seen my Wikipedia page? No, no, no. no. What are you working on? All right. Uh, partner. Where's this go from now? Now, this you. goes now is basically we're setting up the Holt Trust. The what? Holt Trust. What's Holt stand for? Holt is my father, Nicholas Cerny. Okay. Nicholas Holt, yeah, okay. Uh, of course. Yeah. Yep. And the Holt Trust, her and her friends. I didn't know how my wife was were affected till after the convictions. We have all actually started healing now. Me, my children, everybody kept secrets, bro. Everyone, you know, she went and cried to her friends. <clears throat> Put on I, strong I, face I, for family. Yeah, family. I'm crying on my own. Yeah. The boys are crying on their own. But to be united, that's what gives us the strength. In the whole of the whole thing, yeah, that's gives us the strength, bro. To be able to, you know, and but we all we all su suffered. We all suffered, and you know, the friends have been there, and they've already got together. You know what? We weren't given no support. There was zero, honest to God, zero support, and any counselling or any help from the council, the police, anything. We have a children, man. We have a boys, man. It's unfair, man. The good, well-mannered lads. No, I met. They were, yeah, we're wonderful lads, man. When I met them, they were very polite, very nice. I remember the first time I saw you. I was hiding out the back of your ice cream bag, man. I think you said, "What the fuck do you want?" <laughs> That's what he said. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> you didn't, did you? <laughs> well, bearing in mind, you must have felt under attack from everywhere. And then Tony Robinson's popping out from behind your ice cream van. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just me. I think about putting a picture of you on that one. <laughs> and I saw, your son, I saw your son as well. Oh. And I tried to assure you. That was horrible, man. 
I'm just here. You know, you yeah. laughed through it, but I have to. And I'm like, I'm that type of guy. I took it on head on because I've got nothing to hide. You're going to stay in Barrow? I, I always said we were always going to stay in Barrow till we, we've got a duty of care on our parents. My parents passed away in this ordeal. 2017, I lost my dad. 2021, I lost my, my, my mother. I, so your mother didn't get to see you cleared? No. You know how, but you know what her last prayer was? Mm. Her last blessing to me, I said, that on the last day I was spoke to her, honestly, I said to her mum, I said, I'm under a lot of pressure. She just held me head, gave me a massive kiss. And it's probably the longest hug of my life. Right? Mm. And that was it. She goes, it'll all be all right. It'll all be all right. And these so-and-sos put me through hell. I can't even, I can't, I'm not grieved. I'm not grieved for losing Nicholas' father. I was close to him. I lost my nephew, the knuckle druggers, the knuckle draggers were punched. My nephew, outside my shop, I've got a video of it, he died in an M1 car crash last year. They punched, so they punched your nephew over all this? Yeah, over all this, called him a pedo, and I bought him from Bolton to start up the ice cream business, man. He wasn't, he, he wasn't even there for a month, and the, the, the fucking, and he was a big lad, but just a giant haystack, but soft at heart, bro. He, his heart, you know, he was just a gentle giant, and them bastards punched him. Right? And they, they got away with it. They got away with it. There was an independent witness as well. They got away with it. Grasses. And CCTV. And CCTV. Grasses, mate. Grasses. <laughs> Do you think I can forget that? No. I can't. I can't. August. No, oh, last August. M1. Hey, seven car pilot. Car crash. Oh, how old? At 23 years of age. Oh, Set him up in his own business. Recoveries. He was my sister. He, and he was the eldest son. <sighs> In the midst of it all, midst of it all. Your dad we lost in 21. Oh, and then the case we moved and moved. You know, he, he didn't see uh, my name get cleared. You know, he said to Nicola, don't bring a coloured man home or a scouser. <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> don't bring a, 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 a coloured man or a scouser. Who is your dad? Yeah. <laughs> or a scouser. <laughs> or, or a scouser. <laughs> they thought I was Italian as well. <laughs> <laughs> then she said to Italian. Then the worst thing was seeing a coloured man. <laughs> I found out some mad, you know, like Ellie, Ellie, I walked into, we, we walked out of Mafali, didn't we? And I'm, and some lad pulls up and goes, yes, Tommy. I said, all right, mate, how you doing? He goes, oh, fucking hell. Let me talk. He goes, I've followed you for years. I said, all right. He goes, I used to work with Ellie. I goes, oh yeah. I goes, what's she like? He goes, yeah, she was all right. He goes, but she told everyone I was fucking her. And I was like, okay. I said, was you fucking her? He said, no, I've never fucked her. So I just went, I went like, I went, I went fucking hell. This is going to be an interesting <laughs> investigation. I was like, that's enough. Just an, it's just more. Barrow MP Simon Fell. Yeah. I've got a meeting with him on the 20th. Okay, when you go to that meeting with him, yeah. he said, soon the vultures who make their money and reputations out of others' misery appeared. The far right are most obvious with Tommy Robinson whipping up the tensions. I don't think you whip my tensions up for me. I will do. Yeah. No, I will, 100%. Right. And... Uh, just let him know and tell him I said. You is actually it? helped. Well, you helped. Yeah. If we're be honest, I'm not. I'm not it's true. But I, said no, you. Yeah. I said that. I said that. I said after the MEP elections and everything was going through, I used to say, I can't wait till he turns up. Yeah. I knew you'll turn up. Yeah. I knew you'd turn up. <laughs> I knew you'd turn up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd turn up. And I said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, then we're, I'm going to tell you something. That you have. Right. Is, you're a man of uh, a certain name, a character. Yeah. Right? You have a colourful character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got a character. Yeah. And I swear to God, because I was in Bolton, do you remember when you first phoned me? Yep. I, I, I always had hair. I shaved my hair so I could look a bit thuggish. <laughs> <laughs> it was unsuccessful, so, though. I'm, I'm not getting intimidated by him. I'm not getting intimidated by him. Walked in like that. Yeah. All right, Good. All right Tommy. <laughs> well, my... I'm happy for your family. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm, I'm, not, I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm happy for your family. I'm happy that they're in a better place, and I hope that um, I hope that everyone, your name's clear with everyone. It was nice Thank to meet you, man. You're nice a character. Me, you're, okay. a, you're a character. <laughs> One of the final things we found out in our investigation while we were there was that Ellie Williams was having consensual sex with some of the Muslims she accused of trafficking her. This has now came out, and everyone can read it from the court case. And now I'm back on Twitter. I can directly combat their lies. It was the reason for cancelling me. It was the reason for censorship. So they could tell you who I am. So they could lie to you. You've seen lie after lie after lie by them. That I travelled to Barrow. You've seen MPs and media. 
I travelled to Barrow to incite fear against the Muslim community. I went there to investigate, to find the truth. Nothing else. You can see me for who I am. I'm someone that doesn't want to bullshit you. I want to bring you the truth and expose corruption at all levels. We're bringing you content no one else will. We need your help and we need your support. We have no big funders. If you can support our work, we're halfway through two more documentaries. We literally do not have the resources to finish them. Please sign up and help us, just the cost of a coffee. You can support us at www.urbanscoop.news forward slash support us. Thank you.